You have been assigned to a mission few would qualify for. A mission few would survive. turning point of World War II. Across a 50-mile stretch of France's Normandy coast, the Allies staged a massive assault against Hitler's vaunted Atlantic Wall. Valor. Duty. Leadership. Sacrifice. Can one man truly make a difference? field training. Pay attention, and you might even stand a chance on the battlefield. First, I want you to use your eyes to look at each of the four guard towers. forward key to move in the direction you're facing. Press your backwards key to move back. Press strafe left to move left and strafe right to move right. Using these four keys together with the mouse is critical to your success against the enemy. Press your objectives key to see your list of current objectives. When you complete an objective, it's checked off on this list. Your current objective is highlighted in yellow. Now, notice that the arrow on your compass is pointing at one of the towers. The arrow points to your current objective. As you near your objective, the ball bearings on the compass will move closer together. Approach the tower indicated by the arrow. Good. Now press your objectives key again. You have a new objective. Now complete it. Press the jump and forward keys to jump up on this pile of crates. Press the duck key and then move forward to pass under the barbed wire. Press the duck key again to stand up. Look up and press the forward key and you'll climb the ladder. Press the use key to grab a ladder from above or below.
Approach the explosives and press the Use key to pick them up. Notice that an image of the explosives has appeared in the upper right corner of your view. This shows you the items in your inventory. The other image represents the radio through which we are communicating. A red transparent image of the explosives has appeared on the tank. Press the Use key while near the image to plant explosives on that tank. Items you need to use or destroy to complete your mission will also pulse red. Move away from the tank to avoid being injured. Press the Use key to open doors. Some doors might be locked. The sound will clue you in. You will automatically pick up first aid supplies when your health level is below 100%. Same for ammunition and weapons, but remember that each weapon has a maximum amount of ammo you can carry. Some items are too far away to be automatically picked up. Press the Use key to grab these items. Select the Colt 45 pistol by pressing the pistol key. To neutralize an enemy without drawing his attention, press the secondary attack key to activate the pistol whip. Press the primary attack key to fire any of your weapons. Remain stationary and fire short bursts to increase your accuracy. Try a couple of shots on that target with your 45. Switch to the Thompson submachine gun by pressing the SMG key. You may reload any of your weapons at any time by pressing the Reload key. Always reload your weapons before going into combat. Shoot that target 20 times with the Thompson. Switch to the Springfield 03 sniper rifle by pressing the Rifle key. Press the secondary attack key to toggle the sniper scope on and off. Aim through the scope at the farthest target. Hit the red dot three times. Select the fragmentation hand grenades by pressing the grenade key. A grenade's primary attack is a long throw. Use the secondary attack for shorter tosses. The longer you hold down the secondary attack key, the farther you'll throw. Use bank shots with the grenades to clear rooms where the enemy may be hiding. Throw a grenade into each of the concrete boxes. the MG-42 stationary machine gun and press the Use key to take command of the weapon. Destroy the target with that machine gun.
When you're ready, press the use key on the red door at the end of the range to exit. This training should help you keep your head under fire. You're dismissed, Lieutenant Powell. Good luck. Lieutenant Powell, I'm Colonel Hargrove from the Office of Strategic Services, the OSS. Our branch specializes in covert operations, usually deep behind enemy lines. Espionage, sabotage, infiltration. That's the business we're in, Lieutenant. As you know, Germany's famed Africa Corps has captured key locations along the southern coast of the Mediterranean and is now digging in. Our response, in coordination with our British allies, is an invasion of North Africa. The attack is codenamed Operation Torch. This is it, Lieutenant. Our first large-scale offensive of the war. While everything you hear in this room is classified top secret, what I'm about to tell you is extremely sensitive and only known by a select few. The Germans have positioned artillery batteries along the coast, several of which overlook our intended landing zone. A British SAS operative has penetrated enemy lines of the town of Azu on the Algerian coast. His mission was to sabotage these batteries, then give the all-clear signal to start the invasion. Yesterday, however, all contact with that agent was lost. The enemy's artillery positions remain intact, and the SAS officer's capture could compromise the entire operation. You and a small squad of your fellow rangers will infiltrate our zoo under cover of darkness. Your goal is to destroy the coastal batteries and rescue the captured agent. You'll receive specific details of the mission once you're in the field. The SAS operative is Major Jack Grillo, a man I've known for years. He would never allow himself to give up what he knows to the Germans, so please find him before he's forced into taking drastic measures. No doubt about it, this is a critical mission, Lieutenant. Your team has trained hard, and I have every confidence you'll get the job done. Good luck. Mission. So watch your fire. Don't give your position away. Advance from cover and check the corners. Everyone keep quiet. This is gonna work. Was haben Sie geladen? He's taking too long. He's buying it. Ihr Ausweis ist ungültig. Zeigen Sie mir bitte Ihre Papiere. Danke sehr. Zeigen Sie sofort Ihren Führerschein vor. He's not taking them, Captain. Look out! Oh. 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 Oh.
Position! Watch it! Look out! Check the door. What was that? I think I heard something. Ambush! Powell! Man that machine gun! Spread out! Got you covered. Move. Get going. They would have killed me for certain. Stick close to me at all times. Let's get going, Lieutenant.
The documents and explosives I had were confiscated. We've got to recover them, or this mission is lost. They're probably in the Commandant's office. Shooting the spotlights will get their attention. It's best fire! Shooting the spotlights will get their attention. It's best to just avoid them. Sounds like they've got more allied prisoners.
saved my life, sir. Core motor pool is up ahead. Use the rest of the explosives and sabotage as much as you can. In the meantime, I'll get some transportation for us. Good luck, Lieutenant. I'll see you soon.
Hurry, get in. We've got to go. Look alive, pal. We're coming up on the outskirts of the airfield. We're almost there. Remember, don't just take out the planes. We also want to get the fuel dump and any troops on the ground. And don't let any of those planes take off. Ow! We've got a truck on our tail! Got their attention.
Let's split up. I'll draw their reinforcements away. Go through that bunker to the lighthouse. I'll meet up with you there.
Hurry, pal! Get in the back of the truck! Outstanding work in all Africa, Lieutenant. Operation Torch was a success. With our forces pressing Rommel from the west and Montgomery's British troops closing in from the east, it looks like the Africa Corps' days are numbered. Major Grillo was quite impressed with your actions and he specifically requested you for this next mission. Again, what I'm about to tell you is top secret. As you may know, our primary advantage against the German U-boat threat lies in our ability to detect them with ship and airborne radar. Unfortunately, we've learned that the Kriegsmarine has developed a new piece of equipment, a kind of radar detector called the Naxos, which will enable Wolfpacks to find the blind spots in our patrol sweeps and once again attack Allied convoys with impunity. This would give the enemy a tremendous advantage, shifting the balance of power in the Atlantic back to the Germans. The British are researching a way to neutralize this new technology, but I fear it won't be ready in time to prevent the carnage that could result from this Naxos detector being deployed by our enemy. Major Grillo has infiltrated a Kriegsmarine U-boat base in Trondheim, Norway, where the Naxos program has reached the prototype phase. Your mission is to rendezvous with the Major, assist in destroying the existing prototype unit, and steal whatever research documents you can find. This action should set the enemy back long enough to give the British time to develop an effective countermeasure. The Allied convoys that traverse the North Atlantic are the lifeblood of the war effort, Lieutenant. Let me be clear, this Naxos prototype must be destroyed at any cost, no matter what may happen to you or Major Grillo. Your transport, manned by the Norwegian resistance, departs at 0400 tomorrow, so get some rest. You'll receive additional briefing material once you're established in the field. Good luck, Lieutenant. I expect to shortly see you and the Major back here in London. without me.
Ich doch noch! Meiner! Wenn ich...
Fällst dir in Norwegen? Ganz gut. Du hast es nicht hier? Nein, kann ich nicht sagen. Wirst du. Tun wir nämlich alle. Nummer 1. Gib mir dein Heil! Angel dir ein. Hallo! Hier mit deiner Königin. Schummelst du? Gib mir deinen Füßen. Achtung, Achtung! Feldwebel Karl Dittmar in das Ausrüstungslager 2. Feldwebel Dittmar in das Ausrüstungslager 2. Die Papiere tut mir leid. Sie können passieren. Sein? Wonach suchen Sie denn? Stimmt etwas nicht? Interessieren Sie sich für den Prototyp? Soll ich Sie allein lassen? Mädchen in einen geheimen Bunker geschafft. Warum macht der Widerstand sowas? Achtung, Achtung! U665 läuft um 20 Uhr aus. Jeder, der sich frei machen kann, sollte dabei sein. Ihre Bitte. Komm mal. Ist England zu stören, Frau? Ja, irgend sowas wahrscheinlich. Glaubst du, dass sowas funktioniert? Wenn überhaupt, dann bei der Deutschen Armee.
Hello. Zeigen Sie mir Ihren Passierschein. Diese Papiere sind nicht ausreichend. Ausweis bitte. Amerikanischer Spion! Thank <laughs> you. 
Schau hier! Wie sieht er aus? Hat ihn jemand gesehen? Was war das für ein Geräusch? Er ist im Abluftkanal! Ich verfolge ihn!
Excellent work in Norway, Lieutenant, under very difficult circumstances. Thanks to your efforts, the Kriegsmarine wolf packs that once terrorized the North Atlantic have been decimated over the past year by our naval and aerial patrols. With Allied shipping lanes secure, the door is now open for the invasion of Europe that we've been planning since the start of this bloody war. It's called Operation Overlord, and we're breaching Hitler's Atlantic Wall through the Normandy coast. The Germans know we're coming, and coming soon, but we've got them thinking that the invasion will be at Calais, well north of the actual landing beaches. This will be the largest amphibious invasion in history, Lieutenant, and you're going to be in the group that's leading the charge. Now, we may have numbers on our side, but we don't have the experience. Most of our troops are fresh out of basic training, and they need true combat veterans like you to help lead the attack. That's why I've reassigned you to the 2nd Ranger Battalion. The landings will take place across five beaches, codenamed Gold, Juno, Sword, Omaha, and Utah. The British will land at Sword and Gold, the Canadians at Juno, and the Americans at Omaha and Utah. You'll be going ashore at Charlie Sector of Omaha Beach, just west of the Dog One exit. Although the beaches are not as fortified as they are at Calais, the Germans have left no spot undefended. Every inch of beach is covered by machine guns and artillery, and the place is surrounded by miles of barbed wire and countless minefields. One more thing, Lieutenant. Try to keep in mind that this is the largest and most complicated operation that we've ever attempted, and in my experience, whenever things get complicated, things go wrong. But no matter what happens, I believe that with soldiers like you leading the way, we will prevail with this Allied assault. Good luck at Omaha Beach, Lieutenant, and Godspeed. All right, men. Move fast, spread out, and stay clear of open beach. Port side, you with Pal. Starboard, you with me. Head for cover and get to the shingle. I'll see you on the beach. 